What am I doing? Yeah, I'll check it out. I was actually just going to simply do a video and edit it and put it up. But like I said, time is of the essence and I, I just haven't had the uh, time. You know, I've been running rampant these last uh, couple of weeks. So I figure I'm going to go ahead and do this live. You're probably going to see some fumbling here, some hiccups and some more stuff. Some sneezing and some other kind of noises. Who knows? But, um, yeah, I'm planting some soil. Today is the 8th. I'm going to go ahead and get some seeds down. But, what I have here, that you may have seen in some of my previous videos, please ignore these filthy nails, my mighty, mighty seed box. You know, I just noticed that the latch on this box is broken. And there's no seeds in it. I just noticed that. I'm going to blame Theodora for this, because she loves to get into my stuff and move my seeds around and break things without telling me so we're gonna assume it's her but either way I really thought seeds were in there I don't know what she did with them this is my other mighty mighty seed box this thing um, I can't remember where I got this from oh I got this from it was like a some kind of secondhand store I believe I saw it I gotta put some super glue in here and glue this down I saw this box I absolutely fell in love with it. I like chests. <laughs> I like I like uh, you know treasure chests. And I don't know, I saw it and I liked it. And I got it. But this little seed box here. Oh goodness. This seed box here. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on, I'm knocking my whole situation sideways. Bear with me just one second. Oh, and I hear the kitty cat outside. Can you hear him? It's Wendy. He wanted to go out. The reason why I let him outside so much now is because he's 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 obviously a male cat and he's going through heat. And he's you know sp he wants to spray and shadow. She's a female cat and she's out there, so I figure he can go in and do his thing thing and plus he likes to he poops a lot so he can go out there and dig the yard up let me let him in let me fix this real quick there we go let me let him in come on boy have fun you get some But this seed box here, I saw this at a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a flea market, a, uh, I forgot what you call those little things, the garden, the local, uh, I don't know, local get together where they sell fruit and veggies and other different things like that, it's, it's, it's escaping my mind right now, but I saw this, I opened it up and I, you know, these probably do exist somewhere, but I've never seen it. <clears throat> I've never held it. I'll put it to you like that. And I, I simply saw it. And the lady I was with, she went over there. She cut a deal. She didn't tell me the price for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, she got it for me. And I said, I'm not going to use this for a seat box. And I got this about, about uh, four years ago. And I like it. There. I'm just going to start some seeds. My plan is to kind of turn this right here into a, a dome, a little greenhouse, and put it outside. It's extremely windy and they're calling for snow, but look, man, I don't know what's going on with the weather, but I'm going to probably go ahead and put a hole or two or three in here for ventilation, and I'm going to go ahead and put this um, outside. All right, I'm back on. I have no idea what that error was. If I could tell you what's creepy about it. It logged me out. And logged me into another account. We're going to keep going. So like I said, I'm going to turn this right here into a little greenhouse dome. And I'm going to turn this right here into pretty much the same thing. You know, this bottle right here with George W. Bush on it. I'm going to use that. 
All right, and I have here some, I don't know how long this video is going to be, so just, you know, I'm just using this video just to chill and to get up to a full billion watch hours, trillion, gazillion watch hours. <clears throat> I have some plastic cups that I'm going to cut in half because the plan is to fit them inside of here. Get them inside of there, so I'm gonna cut them in half. What I should actually do is I have another one of these, so I can actually put, excuse me, <laughs> the the other, you know, one on top, one on bottom. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm just winging it right now. It's a crazy little morning for me. All right, so let me get my heat pen. that plugged up it's getting nice and hot let me get these other little weapons out of here now that can stay in there I'm not worried about it and this is actually a bowl you know for eating noodles you know chopsticks sit inside there not in this house I use it for this so while that's heating up let me make sure it's on no it's not turn it on I'm actually just probably going to start some tomatoes in here. See what kinds I have. Let me get my marker so I can write on the side. Got it. Hope everybody's morning is going great. Hope everybody's doing fan. And also have here some pot of toes. My plan with them is just like last season, I'm going to go out there and dig a hole in the tool. I'm going to drop these in and get a multitude of potatoes. I have a video of me and Theodore uh, busting open the tote from last year and pulling out the tomato harvest. I'm not going to tell you uh, whether it was successful or not. I'm just going to upload that video soon, hopefully. Maybe I'll edit it and put it up and uh, you'll get to see it there in the future. I'll just link that video right there. And while that's heating up, I'll say this. Little scotch bonnets, right? You know, you can buy a pack of seed of these scotch bonnets. Now again, you may want them super organic or what have you. But that's neither here nor there. You can get a pack of these uh, scotch bonnet seeds, maybe... 25 to 30 in a pack for 99 cent or dollar 25 or whatever or you can go to the store where they are I don't know um, 59 cents a pound and just buy a pound of these and break them open and there's 50 seeds inside and I'll let these dry up because my plan to, maybe I'll grow the yeah there we go I'll plant some of these so open them up and you can see there's plenty of seeds inside you see that yep so I can while this is heating up I'm a genius I'm a genius. Oh, well, that's heating up. How do you seed these things?
All nice and dry. Now, it's my fault. I let them dry too long. So some of the seeds may not be germinatable. <laughs> Remember that word? And uh, therefore, you know, when the seeds turn really black, I'm just gonna put these in uh, a plant to compost. And you can't really use them. I've noticed. Because they begin to grow mold. Like, you see these black ones here? Let me show you. There's some black ones there. Like, that's not gonna, that's not gonna grow. Yeah, see? These sat too long. That's my bad. But hey, we're all learning here, right? Oh, goodness, that's horrible. Ugh, look at that. I don't even want to use these. Look at that. Look what's inside there. Blah. But I'm still going to take those seeds, maybe put them in. I have a little pot of dirt over there. I'm going to drop them all in there. Maybe I can get a couple of seedlings, you know. This one, too, has um, hair growing in it. See? See the fur? See the fur? I don't want that. So, this is not the plan. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them all in some dirt and just sprinkle the dirt into like a bigger pot and start some seedlings because trust me, some of those are going to grow. Matter of fact, I'll do it now. And loosen this dirt up. You know, rocking with the best. <laughs> Let that do its thing. Put a little fresh soil on top of it. Educational video. I wish my girl was here right now. She makes me laugh. I make her laugh. It's a good thing we got going. And we're going to water those down. And we're going to see what happens, right? Who knows? That soil is really dry, but this is going to puddle up at the bottom. It's going to wick back up into it. Yeah, that seems... Uh... All right, we're done with that project. Put them in the windowsill and let them go. Back to this little guy, because this heat pen is uh, hot now. If you don't have one of these, these are these are great. You can put uh, different tips on these, and you can actually etch some wood with them and do some art. See, simple as that. The only thing I don't like is the smell. The smell of burnt plastic isn't great, but it's it's fantastic. Pack that full. It's good to go. Okay. And plan. Put the hole there to make it easy to cut. Put this here. I'm going to go ahead and do the others. I'm going to try to do them all at once. Then I'm going to cut them and put some dirt. And we're going to figure out what we're going to do.
Kitty cats running around. Sound, sound like racehorses. Crazy. It's springtime, you know. In heat. They're running around. Being animals. Using their claws. And I am going to get uh, them both fixed. And yes, I am one of those people. I've had cats before. I love cats. And I get all my cats declawed. Now, the only reason why I may be thinking about it is because when I had cats before, I didn't live on a farm. And I understand they got to fight and all that good stuff. Well, I have furniture, okay? I have furniture. And, yeah, just stay crazy, you hear me? I have, I have furniture, <clears throat> and they have claws. I have a bed, they have claws. I have pillows and nice things. They have claws. Not a good combination. Now what should I plant? I want to get some cucumbers down. I got some peas and corn too. But my plan is to direct sow them. The uh, peas and corn. I don't like transplanting them too much. But I was going to do the three sisters. Where I do the. I'm not going to do it in these. I probably would get a bigger um, container. A bigger, you know. I'm not going to start in this. Where you put a sunflower. Um, bean. And a squash. What happens is. Or you can use corn if you don't want to use a sunflower. The corn grows. The bean wraps around the stalk of the corn, and the uh, gourd grows out and kind of uh, mulches the ground. So they all work in tandem, you know? They all help each other out. I did that last year. It worked out pretty well, but the soil wasn't good enough to uh, do what I wanted. But when I got the seedlings going, if you remember from the videos uh, I did on uh, the Garden of Theodore's Instagram, they they looked really, really good. All right, now I'm just going to get some soil. This is just regular old potting mix. My plan is to get down to Lowe's uh, one day uh, next week. I wanted to wait till Theodora got here, got home, but uh, I need it done, you know. And sometimes when you wait, you, know, you you can miss a window of opportunity. You know, I wait an extra week. That's an extra week of uh, growing season that I'm missing out on. So I have to go out there. The plan is to go out there and look for a gate. And to look for um, all the nutrients I need, the some worm castings and things of that nature, and different little nutrients for my uh, gardening, for the for the container gardening I'm doing this year. I'm doing research and. Seeing all the things I need. I think some people are going overboard. You know. With all the stuff they're putting in there. I also think some people may not be putting enough stuff in there. Because I don't see people doing a follow up. They'll, hey, I'm putting this in my garden this year. And blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. And that's great. I'll sit there and watch their 15 minute video. And give them a thumbs up and all that good stuff. I'll check their channel. I don't see an update. I want to see updates. That's just me. I want to see progress. I need to see those things. You can only tell a man you're getting ready for so long. Just send me a, a photo of you with at least your makeup on so I know that you're, that you're serious. Alright. So, uh, yeah, we're good. We're good right here. I'm trying to think should I moisten the soil first and then put the seeds. I guess I can. It doesn't make a difference. Okay. 
I know that's too much water for right now <clears throat> for the bottom, but it'll wick up. It's already starting to get moist at the top. So let's see what we're going to use in the Mighty Mighty Seed Box, shall we? Oh, my lady friend also uh, hit the dollar store from the other day. Took me some beans, marigolds, uh, marigolds, cucumbers, carrots, beans, watermelon, cucumbers, radishes, you know, beets. It pretty much repeats after that. Oh, corn. Uh, squash. So, like I said, let me go ahead and get some uh, tomatoes down. That's my favorite thing to grow. Cause they just like the, a tomato plant, especially a cherry tomato plant. Every time, well, when we did it, every time we went outside, they were just bright, beautiful red uh, cherry tomatoes, ready, ready for us to start snacking on. And I, that's just a summer I'll never forget. Me and my daughter waking up every single morning before homeschooling and going outside with the basket and picking a salad. It was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. Let's see here. I have pink brandy wines, black cream. I also got purslane seeds. I didn't even put these down yet. I, I, I'm going to do that. I want to try this this year. Uh, but now let's move this and go through the mighty seed box. You know what? Before I do that, let me get this uh, container going. Let's, let's do that. They are just running around the house like two kids. I do not like that smell. And can you hear that in the background? That howling? That's the wind, if you can hear that. That's that wind where I'm at, man. It's just, it screams. These aren't the best scissors, but they work for what I need them to work for. Oh, and by the way, <coughs> the update of the, um, about two months ago, I did a whole bunch of garden sowing and put it outside. Well, we had horrible rain. And it drowned everything. And a horrible windstorm that blew it all over the place. And it destroyed all that winter sowing I did in that video. Not, not the one <coughs> from last year, but the one I did, um, for this year, for, for, for uh, season three, it just got destroyed. So, you know, don't get mad. It's all right. It wasn't meant to be. You know, was I happy? No, I wasn't happy. You know, can't change certain things. Gotta let them be. Can't fight against it. You know, I didn't have to put it outside. I could have left it inside. I can't control nature. And maybe next year I'll, I'll invest in a real outdoor greenhouse that's what I want to do I want to get a nice little plastic greenhouse for myself what can I put in here I 
and a few I'm gonna go let the chickens out too. They've been doing good. They've been giving me a, a good amount of, uh, of, of eggs every day. They're not really hiding them anymore. That I've, you know what? That's a, that's a, that's not a bright thing to say. How would I know they're not hiding them, huh? Mm, think about that. Hmm. Think about that. How would I know that they're not hiding them? Because if I found them, I wouldn't know they're hiding them. If I don't find them, then I don't know that they don't that they're not hiding them. By the way, the chicken came first. All right, so that's full. Who knows what we'll put in there? We'll figure that out. I'm gonna go ahead and water this down real quick. But let's take care of these guys. Let's take care of the matte seed box. this no more so let's let's turn this off and plug it get it out of the way it's all kinds of stuff in here right, right. I had this stuff nice and organized at one point in time like this was a bag of flowers see this is peppers. These are peppers. Um, got some marigolds from my Etsy, Etsy seller. Can't remember if these came up or not. I think they did. Uh, fruit, strawberries, and things like that. And I always forget. I can't plant these now. I'm supposed to plant these, you know, a long time ago. But either way, they're probably no good. Plenty of tomatoes. Some bought from the store. Some grown here in the garden. Uh, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Basil. I do want some basil. Do you know what I can't grow? It's the most simple thing to. I can't grow uh, sage. I don't know why. Every time I plant sage, it never comes up. It's greens. Let's see how. Uh, Greens, 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 lettuce, things like that. Radishes and oops. I have see some seeds that I collected from other buyers and traded with them. I love doing that. It's it's fun. Alright, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do tomatoes. Swiss chard. These were brought from the store, obviously. This is a crazy habit I have of just keeping seeds. This is a bag of gourds. This was uh, some more black crumb. So maybe I'll put some black crumb down. <clears throat> How's that sound? You know what? No. I had a new tomato. It was an orange slice hybrid. I couldn't get it to grow last year. And I started some this year. But I think they were destroyed. By the. By the weather. So. Let's look at these tomato seeds. Shall we? And I can't remember if I if I brought them like they're in a pack with something that I actually have. Black 
green, large yellow cherry. Better boys, dude, I don't know what they are. Chocolate cherry. Yes, chocolate cherry. I don't think I have any of those down. So we're gonna do that. Mysteries, because I had tomatoes growing. I didn't know what they were. Celebrities. A bag of just, look. These are the kind of bags I was selling for like two bucks. It's literally hundreds of seeds in there, but I don't know what they are. So I was selling these on the website. <clears throat> I sold quite a few, you know. Roma tomatoes. I don't like Roma tomatoes from the store, but when I plant them, they're delicious. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Honey Delight Hybrid. What I should do with these, you know what, we're gonna we're gonna germinate these. We're gonna just like I did in the paper towel. We're gonna see if they come up. These were bland ones because that's how they tasted. I didn't know what they were. Combination of large red and a yellow pear. Pink brandy wine with a question mark. Just front garden. I had these growing in a front garden. I did things in a front garden for a while. Vine tomatoes. These were actually tomatoes I, I got from Walmart. The vine tomatoes. And they were delicious. And I kept the seeds and grew my own. Oh, they were so good. Beautiful mystery. We didn't know what these were, but they were delicious. Pink Berkeley. These are beautiful. Uh, look those up. Google that. Pink uh, Pink Berkeley tie-dye. Look those up. Those, I'm going I'm to I'm germinate these too. Yeah, but you see Brandywine is a uh, celebrity. I believe these were celebrity because I, I said they were, or they were pink inside. And they had purple leaves. So I didn't know what these were, but I think they were celebrities. These were big yellow uh, tomatoes. I don't know what they were called, so I just called them yellow bell. Alright, well, I don't see the ones I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down... chocolate cherry. I'm going to put three seeds in each one. So you know how we do. Say it with me. Pen, pencil, chopstick. I'm going to go ahead and just put a hole there. A hole there. A hole there. Technically, I don't have to put a hole. You know, I could just put them on top and then just sprinkle dirt on top. But I just simply like saying pen, pencil, chopstick. And let's get two of these out, shall we? Two for each one. Two or three. And again, whenever I hold the seed in my hand, it makes me feel... I don't know. See, look at that. Again, I, I, like I tell my daughter, the amazing thing is that all these seeds came from one tomato. I can take one seed, plant it, water it, and dirt from that one plant, depending on the type, you know, chocolate cherry, yeah, I can get hundreds. I know from the from the cherry, the red cherry, we got hundreds. So let's just say I can get a let's just say I can get a hundred, right? Each one of those in a chocolate cherry, you're probably going to get about twenty to thirty seeds. Each seed is going to grow a hundred tomatoes, and each tomato is going to have seeds 20 to 50 seeds now we were talking something like a vine tomato oh you're growing hundreds of, you're going to grow a hundred tomatoes and it's going to have hundreds of seeds in each one it's as simple as that all you have to do technically if you live in that kind of climate is grab a tomato off the tree and just squeeze it upon the dirt just smash it into the dirt and kick some soil on it and enjoy yourselves, you know. And I, ideally, that works. That works, you know. 
Anyway, enough of that. Let's get two in here. These two are stuck together. I think it's three stuck together. Let's get those in there. Let's get two in there. I don't know, something's telling me to plant three. But let's get two in there. Get stuck together. Let's get two in there. Now I only put one in that other one. So let's that's the other one for that one. And let's get two in there. Okay. Close them up. I'm actually not a fan of this potting soil. It's first of all, it's not broken down enough, and I've noticed that um, I'm getting lots of uh, those fungus gnats that that come out of these, and I'm I'm just not a fan of that at all. But it's what I have. I haven't I haven't made my way to Lowe's or nothing like that in the last. Uh, few months actually i just like i said i've been kind of busy but i'm gonna get out there and i know i know the clock is ticking so i i gotta get on it because i still have to go out there and mix my soil for the for the tote garden and right now i'm just simply putting all the tomatoes back inside the tomato bag so you're not missing anything Thing about it is, what should I plant in that George Bush container? <clears throat> I don't know what to put in there. I think it's a good place to put some uh, some greens, like uh, broccoli or something like that. How's that sound? Yeah, let's do that. Let's put broccoli. In. Let's move this. We're done with that. Technically, I still have something I want to do to it. What do we want in there? I said broccoli, right? Let me see if I have that. I should have some more left. So let's go through the greens. I don't have broccoli, looks like. I don't think I have broccoli. No, I don't. But I have cabbage. Right, let's so we can go ahead and get that down. By the way, I make the best cabbage, so you know what I'm saying. 
Just saying, just telling you. One day you gotta. You hear them? You hear those cats? So we'll go with the sprinkle these down. That's, that's about 10 of them. I know I shouldn't put that many, but what are you gonna do? So that's gonna take care of that. I didn't prep for this video. I just kind of, I just kind of did it. So things are kind of all over the place. Yeah, I hope that's just the way it is right now. I found in life the last since my daughter was born. Actually, I was never a super high-strung individual. I was always pretty mellow. Um, but there were things that could. That could drive me berserk, <laughs> you know. Um, just certain things that used to drive me, just drive me mad. A lot of situations, it felt like I was stubbing my toe, if you know what I'm talking about. It was like such an immediate reaction. Just, ah, you know. But then, that little... A little seedling came into my life and I realized, yo, I can't, I can't be like that. Like, I need patience. So I worked on myself and she taught me, you know, a baby crying in the middle of the night. You, you, first thing you go is, oh, come on, I want some sleep, you know. And I learned, I don't know what it was, that when she would cry in the middle of the night, I would just get up. Oh, my baby need me. I'll just grab, grab her, hold her. I'm dead tired. I just hold her in my arms and sing songs to her. Never upset me. So I began to apply that to the rest of my life. A baby's cry. It's not your fault. It's your duty to, to soothe them. And even while you're soothing, they'll continue to cry. But for me, I was the only one that could make her stop crying. You know, she would cry. And I could grab her and I would just tell jokes. You know, even, yeah, she didn't get them, but I would just tell her crazy jokes and then laugh. And she'd laugh and clap. And I'd sing a song and she'd close her eyes. It made me feel like I was, I was needed in this world. It made me feel like I was, uh, I was important to someone. Because at times a lot of us feel like we're not important. We feel like, uh, you know, who, who needs me and, what am I here for? But that that's the question. Those those are the those are the questions everyone asks. It's not you and it's not weird. It's a question that everyone has. A lot of people just don't say it out loud, so they make you feel strange for thinking those things. But those are very normal. And you'll find your purpose. You know. I found my purpose in art. I thought that's what I was supposed to do. And then I created my greatest masterpiece, which was Fiodora. And then I realized that's what I'm supposed to do. And I still do the art, so I combine them. I combine my art with my daughter now. You know? I don't know. I talk about her a lot, because I love her. I talk about her uh, in my sleep. I talk about her to people I just meet. They can put them off. I don't really care. That's what I like. People sit down and talk about their job all day and how they don't like their boss and don't like their hours and don't like their this and don't like their man, don't like their women. I'm supposed to listen. I say, you know what I do like? It's a beautiful little girl. I love her. And people feel some kind of way. That's strange this world we live in. We want to complain. Trust me. We all have things we want to complain about. We all have things we want to talk about. Right? We all have those things. And it's okay to do them from time to time. But let's focus on the things we love and talk about that. 
and with my neurosurgeon handwriting, I wrote chocolate cherry. So what I want to do now <clears throat> is this. Now I know this isn't going to hold any moisture. You know what I mean? But I do want sunlight to get in. So I can't do like this because it's not going to get the sunlight it, it needs in the top. So I just want to get these on here like this maybe, excuse me maybe I have to line this with plastic wrap or something maybe I'll like I said I'll, you know what I'm gonna get the other one of this hold on give me a second See if we can do this. If I do it like that, but there's no way to lock it because what I'll win, this is going to be crazy. Now I do have twisted ties. Yes, I do. Let me go get those. Uh -oh, we're working. We're using that old, that old fine flow. Oh yeah, you know I'm rocking with the best. Yeah. So the plan is now let's uh, plug this back up and turn it back on. This heat pin and watch what I'm gonna do. This is probably nothing revolutionary. Maybe someone out there has already done this. I'm pretty sure. Under the sun, it's nothing new. But let's work this out, shall we? And trust me, I'm going to put some other ones in here. So maybe what I should actually do is put down here chocolate cherry. So yeah, in case I put something else there. So I'll put something here, kind of separating it to let me know that the chocolate cherries are over on this side. And I'll do something else over here. So we're going to let this heat up. It may still be kind of hot. That's what I'm talking about. Let's put a few holes up here just for aeration. Get a 
couple of these. Oh yeah, this works. Full disclosure, for some strange reason, Thomas the Tank Engine theme song is in my head and I have no idea why. I've been fighting myself to hum it ever since I began this stream. And I don't know why it's in my head. Now what's in yours? I dare you go the whole day without humming it. Ah, too tight, too tight. All right, that's too tight. So I have to go ahead and pop that real quick and do another one. Love this thing. And it's not the greatest, but it's on there. There's some kind of little latch I could use to to reinforce this. And I'll be good. But yeah, that's uh that's it for that. Let's see the wind blows. So what I'm gonna do in case the wind does blow and get crazy, let's put a drainage hole here, okay? Let's put one about right there. Excuse me. All right, so let's put a drainage hole there. I'm thinking about actually putting another one. Maybe, you know what? If I wish I had a bread tie, that way I could just put one on the front you know what I'll find one so I'm gonna set it up for one or a piece of yarn or string or thread or something like that let me see if I got a bread tie nope I'm one of them people I don't even know what that means uh, But uh yeah it's it's on there. It's look good. Alright, the final thing we're gonna do. Child, you gotta excuse me, I'm just a mess right now. I'm I'm not a mess, I am as I'm supposed to be. Alright, alright. So Oh, this is running an hour long. Who knew? And I have all these no people here. I love it. Um, there was the tomatoes right there, and I moved them. That was going to germinate. Which ones were they? They were the... Oh, I think I put them away. I sure enough did. Let's look at them again, shall we? They should be near the top. And these will be easy to do this time because I have a, they're already in a plastic bag and it's not that many in there. <laughs> uh, 
That's right, they were the the, the tie dye. The tie dyes and the the yellow orange slice hybrids. The honey delight hybrids. There we go. Found them. Boom. So here's what I'm gonna do with these. I'm just gonna pop these open. I'm gonna take a moist napkin. Piece of napkin. And this should be enough moisture to germinate them. I'll take it, I'm gonna slip it right in the bag with them. Make sure they're all touching. Yeah, yeah it's got the moisture all over them. I'm going to put them up into the cabinet. And we're going to check those in a couple days and see how they did. So I think that's uh, pretty much it. Germs and worms. I appreciate you watching this full video. Give me a thumbs up if you learned something. You know, I thoroughly appreciate it. I realize that this was a pretty boring video, but hey, there's no follow-up to that, just realizing it's a pretty boring video. But I am trying to grow the channel. Trust me, this, this is not indicative of things to come. <laughs> I have, um, like I say, I have great videos in the works. I have um, a lot of back catalog stuff, things from the um, 2016 and 2015, actually of the Garden of Theodore, and I'm also doing some just uh, life vlogs, you know, compiling three to four days into one vlog to just give you, um, I love the document, so just, just to document uh, what I'm doing with my life. So, give me one second. I'm going to take you outside in one moment. Hey boy. Hey boy. Yeah. That's my superstar right there. Uh, that's where we have it. That's our little greenhouse we just made. Trust me, I'm going to seal it up a little more so that chilly air don't get in there. We, I just didn't have the time or the tool to fix that up. And I actually just noticed that's one of my lemon plants. I put that out here probably about a week ago so we can start getting weathered and I totally forgot all about it the fact that it's still standing is, is amazing but I don't know if it's going to I don't know if it's going to survive it but um remember lemon tree it is what it is now I'm gonna go free those chickens remember be kind to yourself and to others you were just rocking with the best, the father of Theodore. And as always, peace from the Garden of Theodore.